Okay, with Andy Woodman post match, Bromley three, Oxford City one. It wasn't pretty, Andy, but three points is three points. How, how do you reflect on quality versus objective achieved? Well, the quality from us was pretty poor, I thought, to be honest. Um, it, it, this will be one of those classic games that when you get to the end of the season, and it's hopefully going to be a good season, you kind of forget about this game. Um, and it's the sort of game that we might have drawn or lost uh, last year or, or the year before. So, you know, we, we found a way to win. Um, we, we are in debt a little bit to Grant Smith, making a big save at 2-1, um, which we have been a lot. But... Um, yeah, we wasn't at our best today. There was a there was a lot wrong. Uh, we just we just looked sloppy, um, and sometimes that can happen. You know, you play a team, you think you're going to easily beat them. Your mindset's slightly different, and you make hard work of it. Um, and scoring a goal really early, as much as that's great and should settle you down, it kind of sometimes puts you in a relaxed mode. And um, and that's really what I felt. To be honest, um, you know, we made hard work of it. Yeah, at half time. Um... I kind I think I wrote online at the time I'm expecting Andy to make subs but sometimes managers don't make subs at half time they wait that extra 10 15 to see how it pans out what was your rationale for doing it that quickly well I just think I just think I don't really know what half time's going to do you know if, if mm. it's not right going into half time fix it at half time because that's the best time you've got a chance to speak to the players and ask them and tell them what you want and demand um, and I never understand why managers wait till 10 minutes in uh, or 15 minutes in because it was bad going into half time what do they think the half time break is going to suddenly make it better um, so I'll always make those decisions and, and they're, they're not popular decisions trust me um, you know but I have to make the right decisions and the right calls for, for the team um, and uh, I, I felt again the subs that come on made a difference and we want to keep making sure that that is the case yeah and I thought actually with those subs obviously Lewis Lee came on um, Todd Miller came on obviously Louis came on later but again I think it speaks to why you've wanted such a I don't want to say a big squad because I want to say quality in depth because yeah. it's not about how many numbers it's about the quality and I thought even if we look at something like Todd Todd allowed you to change the way the game was being played Lewis as well but ultimately is that what you've been getting at about why you want numbers for the door and so on and 100%, so forth 100% 100% I mean look we need options to change a game like that and I felt maybe in the past um, you know we didn't have many options uh, to change a game and, and we, we did today and then look you've, you've not mentioned the lads that didn't even make the squad mm. I mean four of those have been starters of mine um, and they've not been left out of the squad because they've been bad players or their form's not right. It's just we have to keep freshening up and we have to keep making sure we push this group of players uh, to want to be in the team, to want to be in the squad and to keep pushing this team forward. Um, and that's what we've got now. We've got a, a squad that I can choose from. Uh, short word for, quick word, sorry, for Feather. Um, brought him in, what's three games now? I think I wrote last week he's been involved in a lot of goals and he got another two, another two today. Do you just see that as that's why I got him through the door or that's what you expected, etc.? Yeah, I mean, there's one thing with Fella that I've that I, I like everything about him that he brings to the team. Um, but the one thing I've, I've kept on to him about is, look, you need to add more goals to your game. Mm. Um, and I've really been uh, sort of stiff on him on that. Really, I, you know, add goals to your game. I don't want you just being cheeky sort of runner. Um, Cheeky will score his goals. We know they should have had a couple today, probably. Um, so he come in and he's he scored two sort of um, strikers goals, in my opinion, and that's what we need. A uh, player like him to come in and, and, and put his name on the score sheet. He's done that really well, and I'm chuffed he's, he's with us. Looking ahead, uh, Mark White was behind the dugouts. Yeah, <laughs> he was behind the dugouts today. He's, he uh, me. He, 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 he's brilliant. I love Mark White. I think he's brilliant for this league. He rang me today and he said, I'm going to come and see how it's done properly and, and stand behind your dugout. And uh, he's great. He's a great guy. And um, yeah, uh, he'll be watching us, and I don't think he'll be fearing us too much, will he? <laughs> well, well, we'll see. I mean, it's talking next. Um, Dawkins have made some strides, certainly, in the league. But again, I keep alluding to what you said a few weeks ago. You just got to keep winning. You just got to find a way to get the points. And you keep... It's one one defeat in 15 now. Keep the run going, if you can. Listen, uh, no one will remember games back in this run that we should have lost, should have won, or, 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 or sorry, maybe drawn... No one will remember those, and, and this will be another one of those maybe no one remembers. We just got to keep getting those points on the board and keep pushing this football club to the top end of the table. 
um, you can tell I, I'm not going to be happy until I get this club out of this league and that's a bit early to me be thinking like that and I'm not getting carried away but I have to keep this group of players believing that that's our goal and that's what we're trying to achieve and um, and look we've got a group of players that can achieve it I, I generally believe that I do well, speaking of getting out of this league, well, I, mean, it's, I don't look too far ahead, but I'm certainly the fans will be. Bromley's game was selected for t- TV. Some thought Many of us thought it would be a TV game. It's not a BT game, it's terrestrial television, wow. live in front of the nation. BBC, right now we're Bromley, <laughs> BBC <laughs> 2, the only game, the only FA Cup game that gets live TV on the Saturday. Well, how do you look at that, though, as a manager? Is it, an, is it just a case? Do you look at it as this is my chance to showcase everything we've been doing at this club, knowing it's a national audience and not a pay like behind pay TV audience if that makes sense well first and foremost seriously I, I, I banned everyone from talking about this game alright sorry for um, the question no, that's fine. <laughs> I, no because I think it's important um, because we'll deal with that game the Sunday morning after we finish the game Saturday against Woking that's when I'll start dealing with that game mm. and that's with no disrespect to Blackpool or trying to be above my station um, but look it's a one off game they're going to be coming to our pitch with trainers and boots and not sure what footwear to wear there's going to be players that don't want to play on this pitch it's going to be tough for them you know we know that we also know that they're a quality team mm. so it's a game that I think we should as a football club we should embrace uh, and put us on the map um, but look I'm not even thinking about that game I've got a Dawkins and Woking to get, you know, to try and get six points from, uh, and if we do that, then we will go into that game one loss in seventeen, and that's that's probably a nice place to be going into that game. All right, cheers, Andy. Thank you.